वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू चेक पॉइंट पेपर टू ऑफ यर नाइन दिस इज सैम्पल टेस्ट सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिट क्वेश्चन वन टू इलेवन हियर वी विल डू द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन सो लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन वी हैव हियर द टेबल शोज द प्राइस ऑफ टू लैपटॉप हियर वी हैव लैपटॉप ए लैपटॉप बी हियर आर द प्राइस The price of laptop A increases by 12 percent. The price of laptop B decreases by 5 percent. Tick to show which laptop is more expensive. So we are looking for the more higher price. After these changes, show all uh, how you worked out your answer. Right. So laptop A is increased. So that means by um, 12 percent. So 100 plus 12. That is 100 and. 12% of this price of 650 so that is going to be the uh, new price of laptop a right then here we will get a uh, new price of laptop b for a we have 112% of 650 and this is decreased decreased means that means the 100 minus 5 that is 95% of 760 so this is going to be 95% of 760 so the first one if i calculate here this is a 112 times 650 divided by 100 so we got here 728 uh, 728 now let's see the other one here 90 Five times seven sixty divided by hundred. So this is ninety five times seven sixty divided by hundred. So this is seven hundred and twenty two. So which is expensive? Laptop A is expensive. So we are going to tick laptop A, and here is the working. Right. Now before we move to next question. please take some time to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and please press the like button and give your feedback in the comment section i will wait for that now let's move to number 14 the nth term of a sequence is n squared plus a the sixth term of the sequence is 29 find the sum of first four terms okay so we have nth term tn is n squared plus a right and we are given that sixth term that means uh, t6 uh, t6 is uh, 29 t6 is going to get from here and that means 6 squared plus a is equal to 29 and a is going to be 29 minus 36 which is uh, 36 minus 29 It's a seven, but it's negative because thirty-six is greater than that. Okay, so now this is our value of a. Now for ten t one, uh, the question is find the sum of first four terms. So first term is going to be uh, one. Uh, sorry, sorry. Let's see. T n is going to be n squared plus a is seven, negative seven. So that means t n is n squared minus seven. Now we can find out. T one, T one is going to be one square minus seven, that is uh, negative six, and T two is going to be two square minus seven, that is four four minus seven, it is uh, uh, negative three. T three is three square minus seven, three square is nine, nine minus seven is two, and T four is four square minus seven. Sixteen uh, minus seven is nine. So now we are looking for the sum. We will first add positive terms. This is negative nine, and this is eleven. So now we are going to subtract that eleven minus nine. That is two. So final answer is two over here, right? So here we have subtracted it. Subtract. Huh? Now number fifteen. Make t the subject of the formula. So t is here. So we will get rid of other terms one by one. So here is negative one. So shift negative one to the other side. W plus one equals to two t over five. Right. Now we will multiply the whole thing by five by five. So this and this is gone. So we have two t is equal to five. Uh, 
w plus 1 right now over 2 over 2 so this is gone so t is 5 into w plus 1 over 2 okay now number 16 here show that this simplifies to 14 y so uh, let's solve this 4 y 5 minus 9 y plus 6 y into uh, 6 y minus 1 so 5 times 4 is 20 y minus 9 times 4 36 y squared plus 6 times 6 36 y squared and minus 6 y so this and this both have different signs so this and this is cancelled that is 36 minus 36 is 0 so you can just strike it off so 20 y minus 6 y 20 y minus 6 y which is 14 y so hence proved you can write down hence proved that this is simplifies to 14 y So question number 17 we have here A, B, C, D is a kite. We have this a kite shape here and these are two sides which are equal and this is 78, 38, X, 90. Calculate the value of X. We are looking for this angle. So now as you see first we will take this triangle right. In this triangle we have this is 90, this is 38. We will write down here in triangle B, E, C we have 38 degrees plus 90 degree this and this plus let's say this angle is angle let me give name a y uh, that all will add up to 180 so this is uh, 128 plus y 180 so y is 180 minus 128 which is 52 so that means we got this angle as the y is 50 Two, right so now if we see all these sum of angles is uh, uh, 360 so that means uh, for intra in in kite a b c d sum of all the this is a quadrilateral actually sum of all the sides will be uh, all the angles will be uh, 360 so 78 plus 78 plus 38 right and because this is a kite so this and this angle will be equal uh, so we can take twice of this so plus 2 times x plus 52 is going to be 360 i hope you are getting this uh, uh, concept here so you see this is a kite so this angle and this angle is same so this angle is x plus 52 right so I am taking twice of this because this is x plus 52, this is x plus 52. So then we will calculate here. Uh, so 78 plus 38, it is 116 plus this is 2x plus 52 times 2, this is 104 is equal to 360. So 2x plus 116 plus uh, 104 this became 220 equals to 360 so 2x is equal to 360 minus 220 uh, this is 140 degrees and 2x so x is divided by 2 divided by 2 that is 70 degrees so final answer is 70 degrees the only twist here is you need to take this here the twice of the n right so that's number 17 let's move to next question number 18 we have here question 18 question 18 rajiv sells balloons that are colored either red green blue or yellow a customer is given a balloon at random 25 percent of the balloons are red the probability of that customer given green balloon is 0 0.05 and the customer is twice likely uh, to be given blue balloon as the green balloon calculate the probability of the yellow one so we need to find out this probability so red we are given 25 percent 25 percent means 0 0.25 right 0 0.25 and green is 0 0.05 and blue is twice of this so times this 0 0.5 0 times this this is 0 0.1 now sum of all the probabilities will be 1 
so 0 0.25 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.1 plus x is equal to 1 so if you add all of them let's see we have here uh, 0 0.25 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.1 so this is 0 0.4 plus x equals to 1 so x is 1 minus 0 0.4 that is 0 0.6 so final answer here is 0 0.6 so for the yellow it will be 0 0.6 right now number 19 a bag contains 56 counters the bag uh, the bag sorry the counters in bag a are shared between angelic and hassan in the ratio 3 to 5 bag b also contains some counters um, the counters in bag b are shared between angelic and hassan in the ratio 4 to 3 in total angelic receives 45 counters find the number of counters in total in bag b so let's do it so we will do it like here it is bag a right from bag a we have angelic is getting like three out of angelic uh, three out of eight and there are total 56 counters in bag a so 56 a times 7 so he got 21 counters from bag a from bag b uh, we don't know the total number uh, so he got four you see angelic and hassan angelic is getting four out of seven let's say the total number of counters in bag b is uh, x so he is getting 4x over 7 now in total he receives 45 counters so total with angelic is 45 total will be adding these two so that means 21 plus 4x over 7 equals to 45 so 4x over 7 is equal to 45 minus 21 uh, which is 5 minus 1 4 minus 24 so 4x times 7 divide by 4 divide by 4 this and this is gone 4 times 6 so 6 times 7 is 42 so final answer is 42 right now let's move to next question here number 20 uh, the table shows some information about the distances jumped by a group of boys and a group of girls here we have mean here boys girls range we have the full information here uh, mia writes these comparisons of distances jumped by the boys and girls the boys have larger <coughs> mean than girls <coughs> sorry yes <coughs> the boys have larger range than girls <coughs> So Mia's teacher tells her that her comparison would be better if she wrote them in contest. Um, write improved comparisons of distances jumped by boys and girls. She has written boys have larger mean than girls. So it doesn't. She doesn't compare. Actually, she should compare with the actual um, the problem, right? So what can we write? We can say the boys jumped on average. We can say on average boys jumped further see the same thing boys have larger mean so on than girls right same thing writing in other words boys have larger range than girls so comparing the range we can say that uh, range always gives the uh, how much the data is varying or how consistent it is so we can say the distance jumped by boys is less consistent or you can say distance jumped by boys distance jumped by boys is more spread out right now number 21 uh, i think this is no this is not last um, gabriela is a music teacher uh, she wants to know if children in her school like music she asks a sample of children from 
a school orchestra if they like music explain why data gabriella collects is likely to be biased now because uh, she is asking she asked sample children from school orchestra so she is not asking to other students so that means uh, they they children uh, in orchestra will be more likely uh, liking the music so this is the biased thing so we can say that children in the orchestra are more likely like more likely to like music does it make sense right so those who are already in orchestra so that means they will be more uh, students who like music and number 22 this is last question of this paper and it has four marks so we need to show all the working here the diagram shows a rectangle a b c d you see this rectangle e is the midpoint of a b e f is 12.5 calculate the shaded area so this is the shaded area uh, so for that uh, this is rectangle we will find out area of the rectangle we have length and width and we will subtract area of this triangle so to find out the area of triangle so area of triangle is base times height right so base we can we have this here 18 cm and this one is 24 so e is midpoint so that means this is going to be 12 cm right but we don't have this side af to find out af we have to use uh, pythagoras theorem so in uh, right angled triangle right angled triangle uh which triangle a e sorry e a f right using pythagoras theorem we will have this is hypotenuse square uh, that means 12.5 square will be equals to 12 square plus af square right so 12.5 af square from here will be 12.5 squared minus 12 square uh, af is going to be square root of 12.5 squared minus 12 square so let's see how much is that Uh, square root, then put bracket. Twelve point five power two minus twelve power two. This is three point five, right? Three point five centimeters. So now we can find out the area of triangle. So area of triangle EAF is half times base. Base is AF. So AF is three point five. Times height is twelve, so times six, so three point five times six. Uh, this is twenty one centimeters, right? So that is area of triangle. Uh, now we will looking. We are looking for area of shaded part, shaded region, right? So that is area of rectangle. Minus area of triangle. Area of rectangle is length times width. That is twenty four times eighteen minus twenty one. So let's see twenty four times eighteen minus twenty one. So this is four hundred and eleven, right? So final answer is four hundred and eleven centimeters, right? So guys, that's it for this video. I would request again please subscribe to my channel and keep supporting you will get more videos thank you so much god bless you guys see you in the next video